five, four, three, two. I'm Alexis. And I'm Jonathan. And this is WNBC. Scheduling is coming up. Do you know what electives you want to take? Here are your English electives. But if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like nothing changed at all? And if you close your eyes, does it almost feel like you've been here before? How I'm going to be an optimist about Take Greek mythology. Take Greek mythology. Take Greek mythology. John, what are you doing? I, I gotta get ready for the ACT, man. You know you can just take the ACT prep course, right? Really? Yeah. When you're signing up for an elective and you ask yourself, why should I take that? What good is it going to do me? ACT prep is a semester course. Every junior, which means current sophomores, every junior will have to take the ACT. It's a state mandated test. In addition to that, if you're planning on going to a four-year college, you'll need scores to get into that college and for scholarship. I cannot encourage you enough, if you don't know what elective to take, take the ACT prep. If you're a sophomore, a junior, or even a senior first semester and you want to take it again, I'll guarantee I can help you raise your score. Communications is a class with Ms. PC where you debate about current events, write speeches, and there's no tests or papers. You should take it. Have you thought about these science classes? So this year we'll be offering anatomy and physiology. You do have to at least be taking chemistry at the same time, but it should be a fun course if you're thinking about going into anything biology related or if you might become a nurse or go into the health field, it's an awesome elective to take. Exercise science uh, is a one semester course and then we also have sports science, which is uh, second semester. Uh, first semester exercise science deals with uh, the anatomy and physiology of exercise. And sports science deals more with uh, a lot of the physics involved in sports. If you're interested in exercise science uh, or some type of sports medicine career, exercise science would be a good choice. Do you like history? Check these out. Okay, Western Civ is the study of ancient culture starting back with Egypt, Greek, Romans. It's a year-long class. It gets college credit if you choose to, or you don't have to take the college credit. Usually most seniors take it, and if you do finally complete Western Civ with the other history class, you never have to take college history class. And we have a good time.
ever feel lost, and confused when your friends are talking? You know, current events can solve those problems to help you understand what's going on in the world. So when your friends are having an intelligent conversation, you can sound intelligent, like you know what's going on. Modern Warfare is this study of current wars, beginning with World War I, all the way up to the current war on terrorism. We go through each war, look at the causes, the effects of it, learn about new technology, learn about the key people. There's a lot of discussion, very, very little homework. If you ever wondered about microeconomics, economics class is a good opportunity for you to understand how finances work. Hello, my name is Mr. Mwali. I teach uh, psychology and sociology. You do not need any prerequisites to take these social studies electives. Um, I think you'll find both of them pretty interesting. Lots of times students do them in consecutive semesters, but you can do them separately as well. Um, in psychology, we focus on human behavior and the mental process. And sociology focuses more on group behavior and how societies are set up. Do you want to be as fit as me? Take these classes. The purpose of PE is to introduce our students to a variety of wellness related activities so that they have the ability to develop a physically active lifestyle for a lifetime. Activities are similar to eighth grade PE. Examples are Frisbee, speedball, soccer, and game day. If you like to dance, then this is the class for you. It is fun and interactive. It includes line dancing, dancing from different decades, aerobics, yoga, Zumba, and even we dance. The strength and conditioning course offers opportunities for students to incorporate a more focused and directed strength training program. Ultimately, this course is designed for the student who is more interested in and more serious about learning and improving their application and knowledge of strength training. Health is a semester course and is required to graduate. We try to promote what it means to be healthy at home, school, and in the community environment. We bring in guest speakers to help students become more health literate when making positive slash healthy choices. Advanced PE is a team sport based class designed for the competitive student who enjoys tournaments. The sports played are tennis, pickleball, badminton, softball, basketball, ultimate frisbee, soccer, volleyball, speedball, flag and ultimate football, and floor hockey. Are you interested in foreign languages? <laughs> Hola, here's why you should take Spanish. Hola, Hola. bienvenida. Yes. Es muy divertido y yo paso tiempo con mis amigos. Puedes usarlo en el futuro. Hay oportunidades para viajar a Europa. Cada día es una fiesta. Picture this. Rolling hills. Massive coliseums. Fighting gladiators. Beautiful deities worshipped by all. What comes to mind? What place are you envisioning? Hopefully, you have been taken to the land of ancient Rome. What do you hear? The sound of chariot wheels streaking down stone paths. Horses neighing as soldiers call out to war. What are the soldiers saying? The language is foreign. It sounds so familiar, and yet so different at the same time. What is it? Latin. Are you curious to delve into the lives of these ancient Romans further, as well as learn the fascinating language they spoke? Latin is a course which explores from Latin 1 to Latin 4, and you gain information about the language and culture of the Society of Ancient Rome. With no homework, interesting and engaging projects, 
and the attainment of a new language to boot, Latin is the language class to take. Join Latin today! Do you have passion for music? Take these electives. Being in show choir is a lot of commitment and a lot of work outside of school. We take a lot of cool trips to Kings Island and field trips into our community, so it's an awesome opportunity. Show choir is a lot of fun and you make a lot of new friends. Show choir is a lot of dancing and singing, which is what makes it very fun. Taking show choir was definitely a new experience and opportunity for me and I really enjoy it. Your time and dedication will pay off in the end with a great performance. Camera, action. So, you like acting? It's exhilarating. <laughs> Do you have a passion to perform? It's more than putting on a show, like it's really a different experience. So join us next year.
Are you feeling creative? Take these art classes. Consumer Science has to offer. I'm about to graduate, but I don't even know what I'm gonna do when I get out of high school, man.
Do you want to join the business world? Then these classes are for you. So, Jonathan, who do you think should be fired? Emma missed a critical component of the project Wednesday. You should fire her. Emma? Well, Matthew didn't contribute at all to the group. Matthew? Did you see the quality of Emma's work? Like, in the real world, she will not get a job. <laughs> Carly? Matthew should be fired because he wasn't even here three days last week. So, the next person joining me in the boardroom would be Matthew. Sorry. You're fired. Do you need an easy way to make money? Then this class is for you. In this class, you can make your own business and keep the money. Join entrepreneurship. Whether you're 15 or 55, you need to know how money works and how you can put it to work for you. And the best part is, is you can start right now. Hi, I'm Grace, and my life is kind of crazy. I took visual design. So I made this logo for soccer. What do you think? Wow. wow. You drew that? Yeah. How do you draw on a computer? I mean, it's no big deal. It's not hard. Clearly, how did you draw that? Did yeah. you use a pencil? Wow. So this one's like the best one yet. My favorite. Do you even like cows? <laughs> Are you even country? Take visual design. Page design, we use Notepad Plus Plus to make our web pages. I also use Dreamweaver to make my website personal.
In Yearbook, we work with different software programs. Visit local businesses to sell advertising. Take pictures. Create the book for Northwestern community. Guess what, guys? You should join your book. Hope when the moment comes, you say. Are you interested in ag? Here are the different classes. What do you enjoy about the program? Uh, I enjoy making money and getting out of school early. What is your favorite event or activity and why? My favorite event is Farm Day because we all get together and we have a good time. In what way does Ag Program benefit you? I don't have to do skill on anymore. What is your favorite thing about Ag? So my favorite thing about agricultural uh, education is that we kind of run on a three circle component. So it deals with the classroom of course, but then we have FFA and then we have SAE. So the FFA component um, contributes to all of the soft skills building like leadership and communication. And then the SAE component of it is um, the actual outside world experience. So students are required to go and get jobs or raise animals. So all around it is such a holistic experience that focuses on developing who you are like all over as a person and not just focusing on how you can perform in the classroom. Flipping me the bird. Well, you may be on a state paper, but that black top runs through my payload. Excuse me for trying to do my job, but this year ain't been. Otherwise, sit tight and be nice And quit your honking in me that way Cause I'm the son of a third generation farmer I've been married ten years to the farmer's daughter 11th grade students who don't have world history should see Mrs. Breaker or Miss Pointer for their scheduling registration sheet. Do you know the themes for the upcoming games? Softball conditioning will be Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.45 to 4. Meet by the weight room. Do you want to wear a hat to school? Hey Warriors, on January 31st, you can pay one dollar to wear your hat to school. Between 7 and 7.30, take your money to the tables. located at the main entrance and by the activities entrance. All proceeds go to the PTO. You got a friend in me. Track conditioning for those middle school and high school athletes interested in running distance will be held on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays 3 to 4:30, beginning Wednesday, January 22nd. Please meet in the front lobby and be dressed for the weather. It's time for the annual chili cook-off. Chili kickoff is January 24th from about halftime of the JV game to the third quarter of the varsity game. Samples are $1 for as many as you want and a bowl is $3. Attention CCP students. CCP books from fall semester need to be returned to the library as soon as possible. Here's your weekly riddle. My name is Grant Baker, the answer to the weekly riddle is a meltdown. Here's your warrior.
your chat. Hold on. I'm Luke Macy, and today I will be interviewing Brennan DeRamus. How are you doing? Nice to be here. Brennan, what's your favorite stroke? Uh, probably brush stroke. Mine's the doggy paddle. Doggy paddle? That's a good one. Um, most sports um, have water brakes. Do you have air brakes instead? Air? No, no, not, not usually. It's mainly just... I had to take an air brake, sorry. Have you, heard the, have you heard of the phrase sink or swim? Sink. Yes, I have. If we have a swim team, why don't we have a sink team? Do you think I could get that started? Would you join? Um, I mean... I'm working on a short film about water polo, and I need okay. some actors, so I thought I'd ask you. I, I would be uh, honored. Hold on, I wasn't finished. Do oh, you yeah. know any good swimmers? Have you ever just been swimming and thought you were a fish for a moment? Just forgotten you were human? Yeah. Once yeah. or twice, once or twice. What, what sort of fish do you think you'd be? Barracuda. Barracuda, nice. Uh, I like that fish a lot. Dun, da, da, dun, da, dun, da, 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 <laughs> How does it feel to know that jet skis can do the same thing you do, but much cooler and faster? Well, I mean... Are the rumors true that you've seen Frozen 2 ten times in the last week? Oh wait, sorry. That one's for the Mr. My interview with Mr. Badenhoff. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, here's the real question: How do you respond to the claims that you're not a true redhead? You know, I mean, believe what you want. Their opinions, but I know in my heart that I am a true redhead, so it doesn't really affect I me mean, that much. It just looks like you bleached your hair and then shoved your hand in a bag of Cheetos and just ran it through. When your swim career is over, I think you should say something cool like, I'm throwing in the towel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking that, and then Storm. I'll be like, hashtag Luke, Luke Macy. Thank you, thank yeah. you. I really just, appreciate that. Just so you get some credit for it. Thank you. Upside, inside, out, swimming the vida loca. What's she singing there? Swimmy. It's a song I wrote. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's called yeah. Swimming La Vida Loca. It's like it, living La Vida Loca, but swimming. Oh, okay. Get it? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I, thought, I feel you. I ya. thought you I would like it. I, I do. You want to like send that to me, like so I can listen to it and put it in my. We should just tape. record it together. You think so? Yeah. Let's let's do it sometime. Okay. okay. Let's do it. As a gift for volunteering to do this and being such a good sport about it, I'd like to give you these goggles. I oh. call them Googles because I put Thank googly you. eyes on it. Thank you. I appreciate the gift. Oh man, these, such great visibility, dude. You look great. Oh, thank You've you. honestly never looked better. Really? Yes. Because then You're pointless. really hard to take seriously like that. What? Just well, go I'm, ahead and take them off. I don't, I don't want to be interviewing I, someone I, who looks like I that. was starting to enjoy these. You really want me to take them off now? Yes. Fine, fine. Um, all joking aside, I know you're a great swimmer, and I'd like to say thank you for coming on here. And is there anything you'd like to say to the Northwestern community? Yes, I actually would. Us, Northwestern Swim Team, has a home meet at New Carlisle Fitness Center on uh, Monday. And it starts at 1 p.m. Be there, be square. OK, I, I think we're done. Leave, please. I have more important people to interview. Corbin oh, wow. Spencer. Corbin Spencer might be coming in here. Now that's a good person to interview. Remember the warrior way. Be kind, respectful, and responsible. I'm Alexis. And I'm Jonathan. Have a good weekend. Go Warriors. Weekends are for the Warriors. All those late nights walking through front doors at daybreak.